Hi guys, this is probably like still episode five. I don't know, whatever. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia, headed for London. desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. That's disappointing. Oh, this is. <sighs> yeah, boy. Is there a recipe down here? Is that what this was? What, in what ratio do I combine these? Is, is that a note? No, okay. Uh, diary? Oh. Memento? Okay. So, what's the ratio? <sighs> Apparat... what? This? Oh, what? Um... Oh.
Daniel's got acid. Watch out. It's too quiet. I'm gonna save again. objects to get to reach hard to get places. I never would have expected that. What, I don't get like that climactic happy solving rush from that? It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Gun smoke! More of this shit. Jeez, it's everywhere. sat down with a casba wall gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. Every time I open a door and I realize I'm not standing in water, I get real excited. It's dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Because it's a dark Stay descent. Stay close. Uh, Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandor. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. No item whoring it is.
my heart's beating pretty fast, even though that wasn't even really too scary. Strayed. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I <clears throat> Miss the rest of it. Um, I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collections of things brought home from Africa. Next, next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it at all? Was there ever a complete orb? Heh. <laughs> Heh. My sanity is dot dot dot. I'm right there with you, Danny boy. That taste. That fragrance. The maskless rose. this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Not true. Smith eased my mind a bit but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Keep moving. Let's see. 
sanity for that? Oh shit! <laughs> 